the uh, Raiders Browns, we just talked about the difficulty of projecting and planning for games. Uh, the Browns, I believe, you t- tell me if I was wrong, Furman, had gotten <laughs> out to a several point favorite. Now with Baker yep. Mayfield out and all, who knows who else is not going to be able to play uh, for Saturday's game. The Raiders are a small pet favorite, at least right now, as I look at FanDuel, over under all the way down to 38 and a half. How do you play this one at this point? Yeah, I mean, this is a lot more than just Baker Mayfield because if it was only Baker, you'd be talking about maybe a field goal drop-off most to Case Keenum given the fact that Baker hasn't been anything better than 65 to 70% of his normal self so far this season. But when you talk about cluster injuries and a lot of the other playmakers, both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, it raises some major concerns about how thin the Cleveland Browns are and how some of that secondary depth is going to be called into action in a game of this magnitude. The Raiders, though, second straight road game, they didn't show a whole heck of a lot last week against Kansas City. I mean, they were out of that game by the end of the first quarter. We'll see what they bring to the table this week. Darren Waller appears to be a long shot if he's going to have a chance to play at all. So the Raiders will be down some playmakers. And as always, this time of year, expect some weather in the forecast in Cleveland. It looks like it's going to be 20 to 25 mile an hour wind gusts. Maybe a little wet stuff coming down. Oh, you know me. This time of year, I'm rooting for weather all over the landscape. Problem being is this total, 43 and a half down to 38 and a half. So there's not a whole lot of wiggle room there. I actually think the Browns, even with all the players that may not be available, at plus one, the market is overreacted. So it would be a small value play, or I could see people, uh, you know, teasing them up to seven or maybe even a shade higher uh, on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Patriots Colts. Uh, This is another Saturday game, a Saturday night game. Colts have held right around that two-and-a-half-point favorite line. May surprise some people just because the Patriots have won, I believe, seven games in a row. How do you play Patriots-Colts in your mind? These, again, Thursday night football we've already talked about. Then you've got two Saturday games before the Sunday games happen. Yeah, I mean, I think when you look at the number here, it tells a pretty strong story about how the Colts have been undervalued by a lot of recreational betters. Meanwhile, you look at their offense, and over the last five weeks, they've been the most prolific in scoring points in the entire National Football League. And while I know the numbers are propped up a bit by a game against the Jets, you look at what they did against Tampa, and they had a chance to really put a nail in Tampa's coffin at home before it was a Carson Wentz fumble that allowed the Bucs to battle back uh, in a game where Leonard Fournette ripped off a touchdown run to win 38-31. But it's not just Jonathan Taylor running behind a talented offensive line. Carson Wentz looks to be a lot more comfortable in Indianapolis than he was at Philly at all last year. And a lot of that is because he's being protected. Frank Reich has put him in a position where he can go out there and work to his skill set. And I think that they're going to put some stress and strain on this New England defense that while they've been great during this winning streak, I do wonder how much they've truly been tested. And on the other side of the ball, I think Mac Jones is obviously going to have to do a little bit more than throwing the football three times like he did the last time we saw the Patriots on Monday Night Football. I think both of these offenses can move it up and down on one another. I think the total was a little bit low where it opened at 44. And I like the Colts quite a bit, but I wouldn't be inclined to bet them laying the two and a half. Uh, I'd back them on the money line here. I think they make a statement on Saturday, and I would not be surprised at all, Clay, if they go on the road a week from Saturday and upset the Cardinals en route to trying to show that they're going to be a legitimate threat in the AFC playoff picture this year. 